Ryan Garcia's victory over Devin Haney was just overturned into a no contest, and the fight will not count. On top of that, Garcia has been banned for over a year from boxing. Bill Haney, Devin's father, was having the time of his life when he posted a day before the announcement that Garika's claim of retirement was only because he knew he was going to get banned and went completely on him. It's clear he was waiting for this day ever since the fight. After Ryan Garcia announced his retirement, Devin Haney's father caused a stir on social media by demanding that Garcia's suspension for a drug violation be revealed within 48 hours. Garcia had tested positive for the banned substance Osterine before and after his win over Haney. Ryan Garcia tested positive twice on uh, the day before the fight, which was, which was April the 19th, and also tested positive on the 20th. Um, you know, and it is what it is. Devin is a clean athlete. What we represent for our community, we represent hard work. Um, we represent not cheating. Despite the odds, the 25-year-old Garcia won against Haney on April 20th. However, his victory was overshadowed by the news of his positive Osterine tests. Garcia's legal team claimed the positive results were due to contaminated supplements, insisting he was innocent. Earlier this week, Boxing Scene reported that the New York Commission is set to discuss Garcia's punishment for his PED violations. Amid these events and following a recent arrest in Beverly Hills, Garcia announced his retirement from boxing in a post on X. I'll still be training, but I'm hurt and done with it and everyone, Garcia said. The sad part is I'm a great boxer and I entertain and knock people out. I'm sad because I love boxing. I'm officially retired. In response, Haney's father quickly took to Instagram, warning that the commission would announce Garcia's punishment for his PD violations within 48 hours. He criticized the protection Garcia has received and emphasized that Garcia's suspension was imminent. And now we see that the decision was overturned and Garcia has been banned. Bill Haney was correct, but somehow, I don't think Bill Haney understands that people will never forget that fight and his son Devin will never be the same again. He will never fight Garcia again. He knows he will lose. Bill Haney, Devin Haney's father, stated that they won't negotiate a rematch with Ryan Garcia until Garcia's PED case is resolved and Devin's record is changed from his loss in April. Yet now he will probably change his opinion and say that Devin can't wait for a year for his ban to pass. And when Garcia's suspension ends, he will claim that he has other fighters lined up. Ryan Garcia's team responded to his one-year boxing ban by saying that fans will always remember his exceptional performance against Devin Haney, and that achievement will always be recognized. Devin Haney expressed confusion over Ryan Garcia's $1.1 million contract purse being returned to Golden Boy as part of his punishment. He pointed out that Golden Boy didn't suffer from the fight and hasn't commented on the PED issue. Haney also mentioned that Oscar de la Hoya still owes him money and suggested that the money should be split between himself, Vada, and the commission instead. Devin Haney, with a record of 31 wins and one loss, and now officially undefeated again with zero wubs, doesn't have much leverage against Ryan Garcia, especially after top rank was the only bidder for his upcoming fight against WBC mandatory Sandor Martin. This low purse bid indicates that Haney's market value has dropped since his loss to Ryan, making Bill's demands seem unreasonable. It's crucial for Bill not to upset Ryan, as he's Devin's best chance for another big payday. Devin's popularity has decreased since his loss to Ryan, and the boxing community hasn't supported Bill's attempts to blame the defeat on Ryan's positive PED test. Bill Haney mentioned that they won't negotiate for any fight until Ryan Garcia's doping case is resolved, and Devin's record is adjusted accordingly, according to a report by Mike Coppinger on X. Top Rank won the bid for Devin Haney's fight with Sandor Martin with $2.42 million and Devin will receive $1,524,600 of that amount. This is much less than what he earned for his fight against Ryan Garcia last April, showing how his situation has worsened. Things aren't likely to improve for Haney after his title defense against Sandor Martin. None of the other top fighters at 140 pounds can offer Haney the same payday he got from fighting Ryan, and he faces a higher chance of losing to better opponents in the division. If Haney moves up to 147 pounds, he'll face tougher competition and lose the size advantage he had at 140, making his career prospects bleak. He will struggle against the stronger welterweight fighters. Promoter Eddie Hearn explained to Ariel Helwani on X why Matchroom didn't bid on Devin Haney's title defense against Sandor Martin, 
Despite previously recommending the fight, Hearn stated that there's no contract with Devin, and the fight wasn't appealing or valuable to Dazen. Devin is currently a free agent with his own promotional company. Haney's situation looks dire, especially since his former promoter, Eddie Hearn, chose not to bid on the Sandor Martin fight. Haney likely feels abandoned, and his father, Bill, isn't helping by imposing conditions on Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney himself tweeted that he no longer felt obligated to fight and will return in a year as well in the classes and categories he himself chooses. Two supplements listed on Ryan Garcia's doping control forms before his win over Devin Haney contain the banned substance Osterine, according to reports from the Sports Medicine Research and Testing Laboratory. The forms, viewed by ESPN, were submitted along with Garcia's urine samples on April 19th and 20th, both of which tested positive for Osterine. The supplements in question are Nutribio Supercarb, raspberry lemonade flavor, which had Osterine levels of 70, 2200 picograms per gram of powder, and Body Health's strawberry flavored amino acid blend 660, 830 picograms. Garcia also listed other supplements, D3, iron, thorn elite multivitamins, and magnesium glycinate. Paul Green, a lawyer who has represented UFC fighters John Jones and Sean O'Malley in similar cases, told ESPN he hopes the presence of Osterine in these supplements will lead to a reduced suspension for Garcia from the New York State Athletic Commission. The commission's rules hold fighters strictly liable for any banned substances found in their bodies, meaning Garcia is responsible for the supplements he takes. Green admits there was some negligence on Garcia's part, but argues it was unintentional. Ryan Garcia's team were hoping for a minimal punishment after he tested positive for a banned substance, and in a way they kind of did. One year is nothing, most likely missing only one fight. They argued that the substance, Osterine, was likely in a contaminated supplement that was not labeled and couldn't be found through an internet search. This means Garcia wouldn't have known about it unless he had sent the supplement to a specialized lab for testing. His team hopes to avoid a hearing and wants to negotiate a light punishment with the relevant authorities, suggesting a suspension of four months or less. However, not everyone agrees with this approach. Victor Conti, a sports nutritionist, questions the validity of the test results because the supplements tested were unsealed. He believes tampering might be involved and insists that testing unsealed containers is not credible. Osterine, banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency since 2008, helps build muscle and improve stamina. Garcia, 25, claims he has no idea how it got into his system, stating he only took common supplements like ashwagandha and omega-3. He insists he didn't cheat and wants his legal team to resolve the issue. Garcia recently fought Devin Haney, knocking him down three times but failing to win the WBC junior welterweight title due to being overweight. Osterine has been a problem in boxing before, with fighters like Lucian Butte and Amir Khan facing consequences for testing positive for it.